How would you describe street art? Street art has by now become a recognized art movement and is a major part of contemporary art and global visual culture. Like all art movements it emerged in cities and does so have a direct correlation with the city. What influenced you as artists? We see ourselves as inheritors of earlier art movements. Dadaism, Situationism, Socialist Realism, Constructivist and Modernist Graphic Design, Abstract Expressionism, Pop Art and the like, had influenced us. Along with that, we emerged from the punk and hip-hop culture. In your opinion, is street art vandalism? Vandalism, along with crime and other forms of deviation from normal behavior, interrupts the monotony and everyday security of middle-class life. It saves it from stagnation and gives rise to an uneasy tension. Vandalism can serve as the motor of urban perception. Buildings, which have been decorated by vandals, draw attention to themselves and evoke speculation as to who the culprits are, where they are, why they did what they did, and so on. Do you see yourselves as vandals? Vandalism can be seen as a desirable aspect of city marketing, as a design factor for public spaces. Urban vandalism does not occur exclusively as an initiative of those who are dominated or marginalized, but is a tactic used by the suppressed as a symbolic appropriation of space. How would you describe yourselves? How many members do you have? We do not define ourselves as street or graffiti artists. We are a part of a global urban art movement. We are the children of spirit and brothers of might. We are the black spirits of the world. We sing the insane image of horror. We are the first post-internet generation. Do you follow a certain ethic within your work? We create strictly under the DIY ethics, which is tied to punk ideology and anti-consumerism. Under such ethic, we espouse the rejection of purchasing items using existing systems or existing processes that foster dependence on established social structures. With such aesthetics, we express ourselves and produce moving works with limited means. Our work is a casebook of political, social, and legal conflicts. Do you produce your works in studios or only on the streets? We use the city as our working environment and the public visual surfaces are our specific targets. We have a deep identification and empathy with the city. Our work is implemented in and with the city as a form of protest, critique, irony, humor, beauty, subversion or clever prank. Do you prefer working on legal walls or illegally on walls without permission? We are an urban, guerrilla, art movement. Our actions are a success only if the authorities ban them. Are you ever afraid of being caught? We consider art as a higher mission that demands fanaticism. Where do you see yourself in the future? Actions, performances and practices are more fundamental than feelings, preferences and values. Freedom is the most fundamental value, which renders all other values. In that sense freedom is the source of all values. To say that freedom is the highest value means that human existence is the highest value, not some ideals, pleasures, power, happiness. If freedom is the only foundation and justification of being, what could be more logical for humans than to embrace it and to confer value on it? In order to be able to freely value anything in the future, one must value freedom now.